Okay, so listen, I know this is not video game related, but I mean, there are Yu-Gi-Oh video games. One of my most popular streams was when uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel came out and I live streamed that. But, you know, sometimes I do, you know, kind of divert off of the uh, video game path on my channel. Not too often. Only when it's something that interests me. And this interests me. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading card game. Monster Box. Battle Edition. This is a repackaged item from, uh, I found these at Walmart. From the company MJ Holding, which they distribute a lot of this stuff. And a lot of things either don't sell well or they have a bunch of them and they repackage them. You've probably seen little cubes for Magic the Gathering. They do stuff with Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Most times it's a ripoff, to be honest with you. Uh, and the price that these cost, I was like, I, I don't even think this could be considered a ripoff, in my opinion. Uh, for me personally, and maybe for somebody just getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! Wanting to get like a little starter kit, because this was $26. And it comes with a structure deck, a playmat, a portfolio, sleeves, and a card case. And from all the graphics on here, it all appears to be legit, you know, Konami stuff. So I'm not sure what the mix is here. Like on the back, there's different items shown than on the front. And I did grab three of these. So yeah, I do like Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not like uh, an expert in Yu-Gi-Oh! I became extremely fascinated with the card game. Over the past few years, a lot of people hit me up about like, oh, did you watch this video game, uh, you know, video, this person? I don't watch video game stuff on YouTube. Uh, I watch stuff that has to do with Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, and various other things. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to open these up, take a look at what we get here. These were at Walmart today. They had three of them. Once I had the uh, price check done, I was like, all right, I'm taking all three check this stuff out because I don't quote me but I've bought in all these types of items before I have boxes crates full of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff sealed product things that I've opened and collected and I've bought like each of these types of items like a structure deck these little pre-built decks are usually like 10 12 dollars I think the play mats are like 20 dollars or so the box the the card box or deck box and sleeves usually like five dollars each then I think the portfolio, the card binder uh, type situation here is usually like $15. So I think the value is there. But if you just get like all the crappiest stuff and there's no variety between buying multiples, yeah, it may not be worth it. But I do think like for somebody getting into this and just wanting to get a play mat and all these items, this might be pretty cool. But let's see what we got here. I don't know values on everything like as far as if they're rare or, or you know, older. But I will check that stuff out. So we got a Corbo Collection game map. I already have this one, but still pretty cool. There you go. Game map. And then what binder did we get? Okay, I think I have this binder too. I'm hoping um, it's the Elemental Hero uh, portfolio. I'm really hoping that we get different stuff in each box. Let me kind of adjust a little bit. See what else we get in here. Try not to peek. Here's the uh, the card box. Albaz Ecclesia Tri-Brigade box. I know I don't have this one. But yeah, like I, I watch a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! content, like Team APS. Little uh, Kurobo Collection card sleeves. Pretty cool. Pretty sure I have these as well. But hey, you know, whatever. And then what deck did we get? Mechanized Madness Structure Deck. I don't have this. First edition uh, Mechanized Madness deck. When did this come out? So that's pretty cool. And that was it for this box. Hopefully something different in each one. Like I said, I will price each of these items, uh, what they're going for on the secondary market currently, and put that in the video. So box number two. Let's check it out. But yeah, I, I mean, I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, ah, another Kurobo Kerb, uh, mat. Son of a bitch. Oh, we got the uh, the binder. That's cool. Um, I don't I don't play too much. I just collect, but I do play the uh, 
the games on like the Switch and uh, you know Master Duel, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I play the, the two. I think there's two uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games on the Switch. I play those every once in a while. Elemental Hero, uh, another Mechanized Madness structure deck. Dang, I was hoping for some uh, variety. We got a little bit of variety. Different sleeves, different binders, same decks, um, same game mats. But I, I think it's, it's the value's still pretty cool, in, in my opinion, just based off of like you know normal MSRP. But you know that stuff changes. Things go up in value. Things go down in value. Like I said, this would be cool if you bought one and you're just getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! maybe? All right, let's see what's in, in this one. Please be something different. <laughs> At least a different deck. I know we got a different... Okay, we got a different game mat. Because I could already see it. Which one is it? Oh, sweet. I do not have this. The Tri-Brigade mat. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that because I do not have this. Yeah, I collect game mats. Like I have the Disney Lorcana game mats. I, I Man, I, I just, I don't know. I collect a lot of weird stuff, man. Yu-Gi-Oh game mats, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon. <laughs> like I collect a lot. Oh, okay, we got the Spirit Charmers. I got like three of these already. But okay, we, we do see like, hey, um, you do get a mix. There's, it's possible to get different stuff. And then another... Kuribo collection uh, portfolio. And then the sleeves. Did we get something different this time? Oh, yeah. The Tri Brigade. Okay. So we got like the set, the Tri Brigade uh, box, the mat, just, you know, between multiple items here. So that's pretty cool. And what else? Did we get the, uh... yeah, we got the Kuribo sleeves and the box. So we got we got the set of that and the uh, the bind uh, the uh, the mat did not get the uh, the tri brigade uh, portfolio if there is one I'm I'm not sure. And then we got the elemental heroes that and that ah oh, you know I think that's pretty cool nice nice little. Uh, cheap in my opinion 25 bucks for this but yeah let me know what you guys think really do appreciate you guys like i said i'm going to look up the pricing on all this stuff and overlay it somewhere in the video see if i got my money's worth most likely knowing mj holdings and you know um their repack stuff i probably didn't but if i didn't look up the values i would be happy i mean i'm still happy i don't know the values i'm, I'm still happy so there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.